Looking for magic cards or magic carps? TCG Player has all the singles you need to upgrade your decks. Import a list with mass entry and let the card optimizer do the rest. Use my affiliate link down below when shopping and you'll be supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Explorer Gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a red-white heroic deck, thanks to the recent edition of Favored Hoplite in Explorer Anthology, a one mana one to saying whenever we cast a spell that targets our hoplite, put a plus one plus one counter on it and prevent all damage that would be dealt to it this turn. So the rest of our deck includes a ton of creatures that benefit from being targeted by various pump effects. We've got Soulscar Mage with Prowess getting plus one plus one until end of turn whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, and then it can also potentially turn a damage into minus one minus one counters, which synergizes with our Reckless Rage to potentially shrink down some of those large green creatures that we otherwise can't easily take out. At 2 mana, there's the full set of Illuminator Virtuoso, another powerful and recent addition from Streets of New Capenna, 1-1 one, one Double Strike that can pick up additional plus 1 counters if we target it, thanks to Connive, which also gives us a bit of card selection. Then 3 copies of Dreadhorde Arcanist, which can provide card advantage by repelling spells out of the graveyard. We can even increase its power so it can get back 2 mana spells from the graveyard, like Invigorated Rampage. And then a Legionnaire, another creature that benefits from being targeted, as it will pick up plus 1 counters and let us scry one on a 2-2 with haste. And then I decided to play two copies of Feather at 3 mana, the 3-4 Angel with flying, saying whenever we cast an instant or sorcery that targets a creature we control, we exile that card instead of putting it into our graveyard as it resolves, and if we do, return it to our hand at the beginning of the next end step, so we can essentially keep replaying our pump spells over and over again. Now by playing Feather we cannot include Gigantha as our companion, so that's the trade-off of including Feather, but overall I think it's worth it. And then our non-creature spells include a few ways of protecting our creatures with God's Willing, that can also potentially get past opposing blockers if they only have green creatures for instance, giving protection from green is a way to potentially attack for lethal out of nowhere, and then a Reckless Rage or a key removal spell that also targets your own creature dealing 2 damage to it, so I have to be a little bit careful when playing with Virtuoso that it already picked up a few counters so we don't kill it with our own Rage, but otherwise a great removal spell that we can also keep picking back up with a Feather in play which is quite satisfying. And then we've got a bunch of pump spells, including those that also draw a card, Defiant Strike giving plus one plus zero at instant speed, and Anger pumping giving trample, and also gets more powerful the more copies of Anger we have in our graveyard, but it is a sorcery. And then we also have four copies of Homestead Courage, can be flashed back so we can cast it twice, giving us a ton of plus one counters and also vigilance until end of turn. And then I'm also playing a singleton copy of Maximize Velocity, a sorcery giving a creature plus one plus one and haste until end of turn, can also be replayed out of the graveyard once thanks to Jumpstart if we discard a card from our hand, so this can be a nice surprise if the opponent's not playing around it and potentially present lethal out of nowhere. And then a two copies of Invigorated Rampage, which has a benefit of potentially being able to target two of our creatures, so if we have two hoplites we can give them both a plus one counter by giving both plus two plus zero and trample until end of turn, but can also target a single creature giving plus 4 plus 0 and trample instead, great alongside the double striking virtuoso, and trample a great way to get past any chum blockers. And then our mana base has a very low land count, only 18 lands total, although we can usually get by with just 2 or 3 lands in play, just need to make sure they can make all the colors we need, so plenty of red-white dual lands necessary, couple basics, and an eye ganjo which can also potentially be used as removal. So that's our deck, now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. Alright, we're on the play, and our hand seems fine. Soulscar Mage into Virtuoso, and then a couple nice spells to go with it. Depending on the matchup, could also be fine to wait to play Virtuoso until we can protect it with a God's Willing. But for now, happy to play a Soulscar Mage on turn 1. Opponent Green-White, another Reckless Rage. Yeah, I think I'm okay playing Virtuoso. And then we have to be a little bit careful with the Reckless Rage, don't want to use it on Virtuoso before it picks up an extra counter. Opponent on Angels and a Bishop we can take out with the Reckless Rage as we draw another one. So, I guess, let's see. Do we think we need to God's Willing? I guess if our opponent's playing Skyclave Apparition it could still come in handy. Otherwise, I may just want to kill Bishop using Soulscar Mage for now. And then it may be okay to just God's Willing Virtuoso end of turn just so we get to connive. May have been fine to keep the land in hand to discard as well because of that. 
But for now, I think killing bishops fine. And then get in for four damage, essentially. Don't want to discard Reckless Rage to connive, but we'll see here. Right, Righteous Valkyrie we can also take out on a turn if we'd like. So the question really is, do we God's Willing just for the connive value? And I think we do. Alright, Rampage. I guess we could also keep to Pump Virtuoso instead, as it deals a ton of damage. And then we can still Reckless Rage, Valkyrie. This may be a little greedy, but let's try it. And then name Whites. Another Virtuoso I probably don't need. Although I can keep it as a spell to discard to connive. So I guess we'll keep it on top. And then I could Reckless Rage again right now. Or we can keep it for next turn for Prowess, which is probably better. So let's Rampage. Just plus four on Virtuoso. Discarding Virtuoso. And then now we can safely Reckless Rage. Discards Homestead Courage as we can flash it back. Virtuoso up to 8 power, hits for 16, and then we still have some extra from our Soulscar Mage. And that's lethal. Awesome. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the draw, and seems fine. Soulscar Mage into Arcanist with a Reckless Rage as removal here. And the ability from Soulscar Mage also going to come in handy to potentially shrink down something like a beast. So we can uh, still handle it, hopefully. So not the most exciting turn two for them. We get to attack, play Arcanists. And then clear a path. Using Reckless Rage and Soulscar Mage, hopefully. Might have been worth it to just play my Sacred Foundry last turn in case we draw Mountain if we want to cast all the red spells. But a Homestead Courage should be fine. So yeah, let's Reckless Rage. And then deal two to my Soulscar Mage as it's going to keep growing here. We can Anger, giving Mage Trample. And then potentially a Homestead Courage on, at this point, the Arcanist, perhaps. Attack. And replay. Probably the Homestead Courage, so I don't have to flash it back and keep Anger to pump the next one. And then, if I pump Arcanist again, we may be able to survive potential... Uh, Five spells from our opponent as well, which I like. Opponent falls to 10, just controlling two 1-1s. One so take two. Nope, opponent hangs back with a collected company, I'm sure. And Feather the Redeemed, a sweet draw. Okay, so I can play Feather into Ancestral Anger. And then... We can potentially flash back a Reckless Rage with Arcanist, which then also will end up in our hand thanks to Feather. And then probably give Soulscar Mage Trample. Another Feather. Yeah, it's probably fine to attack. I'm likely losing Arcanist to a large blocker from the opponent. But with Anger, at least we should be able to um, pump Arcanist to at least trade for an opposing creature, unless it's another beast. Or we can just cast a Reckless Rage here, that way we'll pick it back up with Feather and we'll have access to Reckless Rage in the future. So let's get rid of probably the 1-1 one -one instead of the beast. That way an ooze cannot exile the beast to grow. And two damage to feather seems fine.
There's a collected company. Finding Steel Leaf and Ooze. So sadly your opponent can take out Arcanist with a Steel Leaf. Which would have been a reason to go for the Anger there. But now we pick both up and we have a Rage we can keep looping with Feather and Soulscar to shrink down opposing creatures. Although Great Henge is going to give the opponent a chance this game. So they can exile two creatures with the Ooze. Could see a fight spell as well, take out Feather, so good thing we have a backup. Just an Elvish Mystic for now. Opponent up to 7. And the Lovestruck gonna make a 1-1. One, one. Opponent hangs back, Legionnaire's not bad either. So, can play Legionnaire. Probably want to a Reckless Rage with a Legionnaire, so it picks up a counter, take out guessing Steel Leaf Champion. Although Ooze could be scarier long term, although only one creature in the graveyard, so next turn could be two. Now nah, let's kill the Steel Leaf. Another strategy would be to just keep Reckless Rage in hand to respond to a fight spell to shrink their creatures down, but because we have a backup feather I'm less concerned. And then will I be attacking with Soulscar Mage? I can pump this up to 4 power. Yeah, I guess it's fine. As opposed to pumping Feather. But Legionnaire was not gonna attack either way. And now a Rampage is another great draw. So is our opponent gonna give up their entire board? They are. I guess the fact that we now lost Soulscar, our uh, Reckless Rage becomes a little weaker. But our opponent's still pretty low on life, so they have a lot of problems to deal with. And they might be forced to block with Ooze, at which point we can still finish it off with Reckless Rage. So it's gonna be a beast first. Now a 6-6. Six, six. Would love to find a God's Willing, can just give protection from green to attack past all of their blockers. And make sure we don't lose anything to a fight spell. But now with the Scavenging Ooze, Arcanist also wouldn't have been incredibly effective. So the fact that we lost it earlier, probably not the end of the world. Virtuoso, nice way to go over the top. Opponents hanging on to either Ooze activations or another collected company, it's hard to tell. But I think we're just gonna pump Feather here. I guess I could also go for Rampage, which forces them to pull the trigger on Ooze to gain life. But we might still have enough here since we'll pump uh, with Rampage, 7, 8. So they may not have enough since Oasis also costs them one life to activate. So we might just have Lethal here. Not a Reckless Rage. And uh, yeah, we'll just send in Feather. Opponent has to make the first move. And then we can still Rampage. Pumping Feather. We can Reckless Rage twice. But this should be lethal. Alright, sweet. So, yeah, Feather gets it done. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and seems acceptable, although creature light, but we do have ways to protect our soul scar mage with a god's willing at least. Although if we wanna homestead courage, we won't be able to keep up a god's willing necessarily. So luckily no removal turn one. And more white mana potentially. So yeah, let's just homestead courage for now. And grow the soul scar. And kind of all in on our one creature here, but unlikely for the opponent to deal with our Soulscar Mage at 3 toughness next turn. 
Alright, double elf Lovestruck. Opponent's red green, so Arcan is the draw. That's exciting. So next turn they're gonna play the Lovestruck to try and block. We can rampage, plus God's willing to get past it and actually get rid of it. So for now, do we want to do anything besides play Arcanist Pass with God's Willing, in case they play Lovestruck and try and fight? That seems like the better idea. And then I'll play this on white in case we need to double God's Willing. So play Arcanist, attack. Gonna be an Elder Garagroth now, that's a problem. Although opponent's likely blocking with it. Problem is, I guess we can use Courage to get Arcanists up to 2 and then Rampage can get it up to 6 to kill Garagroth. And if they just take it, what happens? Then I guess this has Vigilance so we can still block and uh, a Rampage, if not play Virtuoso. Although it is a little awkward that we're not making use of the Arcanist ability, I guess we can just attack, flashback, courage, and then it's not gonna have vigilance. So maybe that's still a problem, but it would help us keep up God's Willing. So close call. Could also just play Virtuoso and pass, but then Gergroth gets a free attack in, which I don't like. So yeah, I think we just uh, attack with both. Flashback Courage, and hope they block. Yeah, opponent binds the bullets. Gergroth triggers, probably making a beast. And then we'll Rampage, and get protection from green. Don't need Vantage. Okay, and now we've got both God's Willing and Rampage to flash back with our Arcanist as well. But we are tapped out, so Beast into a fight spell would be bad. Pack Leader instead. Alright, Serpent's got quite a bit of power toughness to work with. So... We can attack with just the Arcanists. Giving it plus 4 plus 0. See how they block potentially God's Willing. And then play Virtuoso. Then think Soulscar Mage wants to attack. And our opponent's got both a green creature and a white creature here with a human token, so I don't think we could have set up lethal with God's Willing in any way. Opponent going for the triple block, quadruple block. So I actually wonder if we want to kill the human token to set up a lethal God's Willing. In which case, I can kill Lovestruck Beast and the 1-1 one -one token, leaving them with 3-3s. Uh, three yeah, that seems okay. And then God's Willing Pro Green. Don't need Mountain. And play Virtuoso. Alright, Bone Crusher stomps Virtuoso. And a Scavenging Ooze makes our Arcanist a lot less impressive. So, yeah, we're gonna need a Reckless Rage here pretty much. Fine Strike's not bad. So we'll pump Arcanists. Do I want to attack first? I guess we'll see what we draw off Defiant Strike before making a decision here. But Ooze is gonna exile whatever we try and replay. Alright, Virtuoso. So, attack with both. Do I want to trade Soulscar Mage for a pack leader, basically? And go for, I guess, a God's Willing at this point. And Arcanist gets pro green. They actually let us cast it, so not exiling it with ooze. 
And a Homestead Courage. I probably keep on top. Opponents giving up scavenging ooze. Alright, let's get rid of the ooze. And then kill an elf in the process as well. Alright, Virtuoso's gone. Opponent gains one, but ooze elf dies. And we still have an Arcanist to get this Virtuoso through. So, yeah, that worked out. Homestead Courage also better now without an ooze in play. Opponent was maybe afraid of another Rampage, and they wanted to get the extra counter and the life. Our opponent does have red and green creatures available. But now we don't need to worry about a Stomp killing Virtuoso in response to a Homestead Courage. So we'll start here, can discard Hoplite to connive. And then flashback, Homestead Courage. Discard another Hoplite. And Arcanist can replay God's Willing. Although that's not necessarily going to present lethal. So maybe better off going for Defiant Strike, pumping Arcanist itself. And... Uh, Guess we can keep Soulscar Mage a surprise. So Defiant Strike, Pump Arcanist, draw a card on the way out. Best case scenario, draw a Reckless Rage, not our Hoplite instead. Alright, at least we got rid of a few of them. The Elf's gonna jump. And Bone Crusher, Pack Leader, and Beast in front of Arcanist. So which one do we want to kill? If we draw another God's Willing, killing the red creature could matter, although we've gone through double God's Willing already, so that's unlikely. In which case, I could see Pack Leader being more threatening if it starts drawing cards. Yeah, let's take out Pack Leader here. Play Soulscar Mage. And hope our Virtuoso can carry us to victory. 5-5 five, five double strike does not mess around. Chandra can deal 4 damage, that's not quite enough. So kill Soulscar Mage. A Trample Sorcery would be great. Land instead. So Virtuoso can go face at this point. Opponent's gonna jump with a beast. Play Hoplites. And try again next turn. Keep land for connive. Okay, Chandra just finding a land. Means two damage and a fable. So another chump blocker here. They can also jump with their Lair of the Hydra if they'd like. Ooh, but a God's Willing. Now, I guess Pro Red means Hydra can still block. So it's not necessarily lethal, but it does give us a way to protect Virtuoso in case of removal, which goes a long way. Uh, Hoplite does not attack. So yeah, I'll just send Virtuoso at their face. Bones likely jumping with the Shaman token now. And if they ever tap out of Lair mana, God's Willing can present lethal. Soul Pass. Chandra pluses for card advantage, and they did find a good one, Questing Beast. And if I'm not mistaken, Questing Beast also gets around protection from God's Willing. But we can use it so they cannot block with the Questing Beast at least. So there's layers to this.
Let's untap. And a uh, Reckless Rage should seal the deal. Can take out Questing Beasts. Or maybe better Bone Crusher and then give Pro Green. Although X equals 1 would just turn this into a tapped 1-1, one, one, so might as well Reckless Rage the Beast itself then. And use either Hoplite or Virtuoso. Guess we can use the uh, Virtuoso in case of a Stomp. So for here to there. And uh, can discard land or Legionnaire for an extra counter just in case. But now Pro Red should do it. And our opponent explodes. Awesome. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Hand seems fine. Soulscar Mage into Legionnaire. Got a bit of removal. Feather to take over the late game. Up against a blue spirit deck, presumably. So having the early board presence here is great. And then a Reckless Rage can maybe take out a key spirit like Supreme Phantom. Best they can flash in is a 1 1 Spectral Sailor. Hopefully, no Curse Obsession plus Counter Spell to back it up. Or some other protection spell. But I guess we can just step out for Feather. And then hope there's no Counter Ascendant Spirits. Fine. Okay, so we can attack with a team and then play Feather, which should resolve. And then once we have a Feather in play, it's going to be difficult for the opponent to keep up with her counter spells. Maybe a Chum Block plus a Phase Out here to put a counter on it, sure. Could respond with a Reckless Rage, don't think that's necessary. Can still kill the Ascendant Spirits, even after they level it up once more. And now with the Feather in play, there's not too many ways for them to deal with it, unless they're playing Bound Spells and then can counter it on the way down. So I'm liking our spot, but game's far from over. Alright, there's a Cure Obsession. Alright, that might make it a little bit more challenging now because they'll be able to level it up, and then it survives Reckless Rage. But we can try and race, of course. So the way we want to set this up is attack, Rampage, maybe get the Rampage countered, and then Rage the Spirit while they're tapped out. And then we can split up the Rampage in case of a Bounce spell. Pump Legionnaire for sure, with at least two, so it gets a counter. And then maybe Soulscar Mage. Right, opponent's jumping. In that case, I may want to give Feather Trample. And then if they bounce, we can Reckless Rage safely. Do I want to land? Don't really mind it, given Feathers giving all our spells back, we can still cast them all. I'll be able to spend 5 mana next turn. Slip out the back once again, but now we can Reckless Rage the Spirits, and for Colorless there's nothing they can have. Probably wanted to target our Legionnaire for an extra counter there. But yeah, this game seems... Pretty much over, and our opponent explodes. On to the next one. Okay, we're on the play, and our hand seems fine. Kick things off with probably a Soulscar Mage, so turn two we can more easily play Soulscar and Hoplite in the same turn. And since we have two of them, in case of removal, probably better to play it this way. Opponent also red-whites. And 
and uh, yeah, next turn we can kick things off with an Ancestral Anger. Put a counter on Hoplite. As we see a Virtuoso, so it's the Mirror Match. Arcanist, a great draw, so we can play that right now. We'll be shields down on God's Willing, but if we untap with Arcanist, that's going to be great. Especially with a Rampage, we can maybe target Arcanist and a different creature, and then flash it back to cast it once more. So hoping to dodge a Reckless Rage, pretty much. Although Rage on Virtuoso only works if they can put a counter on it first. Right, it's going to be an Ancestral Anger first, so we could still see a Reckless Rage as a Legionnaire's discarded to connive. We're not going to die this turn, even with two more pump spells. Divine Strike. Discards Lumamancer, not too useful right now. And Reckless Rage. Looks like it's... Yep, gonna take out Arcanist. Alright, so now we may not have lethal anymore. Although we still have pretty significant damage outputs with a Rampage. God's Willing can give Pro White to either trade for Virtuoso or get past it. All their opponents just attacking here, so we're down to 6. Opponents at 12. Feather's nice, but I don't think we have time for it. So best we can do is a Rampage. Targeting two of our creatures. Hoplite gets a counter. This is 9, 10, 11. 12, 13 with prowess, plus one more counter, so that's lethal. Alright, so close game here. Opponent had what they needed with uh, Reckless Rage. Maybe should have stayed back with Virtuoso, who knows. But then we attack, wait on the gods willing, they block. We eat a Virtuoso and we're still in a pretty dominant position. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the play. Hand seems pretty decent. Hoplite and Soulscar Mage as early threats, ways to protect them, removal and a pump spell. So a nice balanced hand. And then probably a lead with Hoplite, since next turn we might want to target it with Defiant Strike already and start getting some counters. Although there are situations where we might want to keep it as our second threat if it's going to get removed right away. Right, opponent's mono blue, so maybe not our spirits deck. Okay, let's attack. Do have to be a little bit mindful of a potential fading hope bouncing the hoplite. So I'm not gonna define strike just yet. But I might do it end of turn just to get the counter and the card. Opponent's got nothing for one mana. And a Supreme Phantom. Okay. So do I want to Define Strike just to get a counter and a card? Or do I keep it to maybe pump past the Phantom? Although it's unlikely for them to block, so might as well just Reckless Rage. Yeah, let's just Define Strike now to be mana efficient. Okay. And another Soulscar Mage. So I can Reckless Rage. Kill Phantom. Grow Hoplites, play Soulscar Mage, and then have double Gods Willing to make sure our creatures can keep attacking. We might need one more actual pump spell to get in more damage. But we're definitely in a favorable position. Another Phantom. Okay. Get to untap, and the Homestead Courage is excellent. Probably pumping Hoplite, since that gets the most benefit out of it. Now I'm not gonna flash it back, in case of a Bound Spell here. Wanna keep access to God's Willing. So we'll see if they even attempt to block. If they do. Okay, so I can tap out for God's Willing. Which would kill the Supreme Phantom. Although, if they then bounce my Hoplite in response, that would be very bad. 
So maybe I just pass here, deal seven, and then next turn we can probably finish them off. They could also have a slip out the back. Or a spell pierce, although spell pierce wouldn't counter the prowess trigger. Although a slip out the back would have saved Phantom. Shacklegeist can try and tap Hoplight, but protection from blue is still gonna work. So they let us untap. And then. I guess we move to combats, and then after the hoplite attacks we can God's Willing pro blue, but they're likely gonna tap it first and then I'll pro blue. Don't want to main phase God's Willing and have them have both the tap ability and a counter spell, because then they can beat double God's Willing potentially. Alright, so now we'll pull the trigger. And that should do it. I guess I could have two counter spells with double spell peers for God's Willing, but seems unlikely. And there we go, on to the next one. Alrighty, we're on the draw facing Yorion, so blue white control presumably. And we gotta hope they don't have a supreme verdict. Alright, looks like a blue black deck instead. So, turn one, let's go with the Soulscar Mage. And then I'll play Hoplite next turn with maybe God's Willing to protect it, as it's slightly more valuable than Soulscar Mage, which is going to get Fatal pushed. So maybe an Emergent Ultimatum, a ramp deck. Okay, don't know if we'll need the removal spell. So I can play Hoplite, protect it, or I can just play two creatures. Although I think I'm really going to need Hoplite to stay alive to have a chance this game. See if there's a response. Although if they have Fatal Push, it wouldn't necessarily hold priority there. Yeah, I'll play it safe. Opponent had nothing. And puts Yorin in hand, so off to a slow start. Although next turn we could see something like an Extinction Event, which gets around our protection. So step one is probably to just draw and see what else we pick up, get a counter. And then... Yeah, I might want to Homestead Courage, keep up God's Willing, as opposed to play Soulscar into a Sweeper. Attack. And pass. And hope there's maybe like a Binding the Old Gods to take out Hoplite instead. Alright, opponent passes with 4 mana, which means I can Define Strike, uh, step 1, see what we draw. And a Legionnaire diversifies our threats, so not sure what the opponent's keeping up here, but we're about to find out. Hit for 8, that works. Opponent's down to 7, so they must have kept a really slow hand. Alright, Shadow's Verdict. Well, that uh, does clean up nicely here, so maybe it was better off keeping the Legionnaire as a follow-up. Yeah, that works. So could be in trouble here. Although if we can protect Soulscar Mage, the Rampage will seal the deal. Don't think I need to flashback Homestead Courage now. Next turn I'll still have the mana to Courage, Rampage and God's Willing. Alright, there's Yorion keeping up potential Fatal Push mana. But we can Reckless Rage here. And then shrink down Yorion so we can trample over it, although I can save it for next turn to get an extra prowess trigger as well if we'd like. Um, although I might not have the mana to do everything, so let's shrink down Yorion. Alright, we drew the land anyway, but that's fine. Bump Soulscar Mage. Attack. Opponent's gonna block. 
we'll trample over. And then we don't even need to pull the trigger on God's Willing, as if this is already lethal. Okay, so glad that uh, we managed to come back from that Shadow's Verdict and defeat the Sultai Ultimatum deck. But always nice to have a bit of insurance in hand as we level up. Awesome. So got a nice variety of matchups in here with our red-white heroic deck, all the way from creature decks to control. And yeah, overall quite happy with how this deck turned out. Whether or not you include Gigantha as companion or play Feather in the main deck instead is a close decision, but Feather is just one of those cards that's a ton of fun if you get to untap with it, so I think it's worth the inclusion. So that's gonna do it for today's gameplay. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed, and as always, have a nice day. I also want to thank all my patrons for being part of the channel, and you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.